Top 10 Best Train Stations in Africa Hello viewers, welcome to another exciting edition and thanks for watching. Today we shall be talking about the top 10 best train stations in Africa. A train station or railway station, also called a railroad station, rail station or the port, is a place where passengers can get on and off trains and all goods may be loaded or unloaded. Early stations were usually built to handle passengers and goods. Today, goods are usually only unloaded at big stations. Train stations are next to a railway line or they are the terminus for a route. Usually, there are platforms to let passengers get on and off the train easily and safely. Many stations have things such as shelters, ticket sales and benches. Although the western world has the luxury of some of the most magnificent and exquisite train stations, Africa is not left behind. So without any further ado, here are the top 10 best train stations in Africa. Number 10. Cairo to Luxor, Egypt there are two main ways to travel by train to Luxor for its temple complex at nearby Kanak, the daytime air-conditioned express and overnight sleeper. To appreciate the Nile Valley and the rivers Felucas, traditional wooden sailing boats and thin banks of fertility, you have to defy government tourist restrictions on which trains tourists can buy tickets for and take the former. This entails simply boarding the train at Cairo's impressive Ramses station and paying on board, hoping you find an empty seat or buying a ticket ahead online. Number 9. Royal Livingstone, Zambia This five-coach dining train uses carriages restored by Rovers Rail and a steam locomotive to travel from bush track siding near Livingstone to the Victoria Falls Bridge, traversing a short section of what Rhodes hoped would become the Cape to Cairo Railway. The train pauses for 20 minutes on the bridge before proceeding to Palm Grove siding for the six-course dinner stop and then returning to bush tracks. Operating on Wednesdays and Saturdays, the train includes a lounge and observation car. Guest transfers between hotels and lodges and the train are part of the package. Number 8. Uteniqua Chu Toji, South Africa For many years, this 41-mile line was the most popular daytime tourist journey in South Africa, running for most of the way along the coast with a spectacular curved viaduct across the Caimans River and a long, low viaduct across the lagoon before journeys end at Kinsa. National operator Trantons lost interest in the steam hauled service when no successor could be found. Operation ceased in 2010. Now a new concession is in prospect and it is hoped that services might resume before the 19th anniversary of the opening of the railway this year on October 28th. Xena lies on the garden route and is famous for its oyster festival. Number 7. Bulawayo to Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe the overnight journey from Bulawayo to Victoria Falls is a world away from Rovers Rail, but some find the Zimbabwean wood paneled coaches from another era and the sight of the game more than compensates for shortcomings in other aspects of the experience. This year, in what is now the post Mugabe Zimbabwe, a sleeper train is being introduced from Victoria Falls to Huange National Park with refurbished traditional carriages. Passengers will board the train at Victoria Falls, have a three course dinner, and go to sleep as the train heads for Huange. Guests will transfer onto the Elephant Express, an open-sided rail car designed for game viewing. This will take them to Ngamo on a two-hour transfer for the Invelo Safari Lodge. Guests end up in a great safari area, so it is more interesting than a normal road or light aircraft transfers. Number 6. Dar es Salaam to Kapiri Mpushi The 1,555-mile, 1,860-km Tazara Railway between Tanzania's largest city Dar es Salaam and Kapiri Mposhi in Zambia was the first of China's railway building projects in Africa, opening in 1975. It has had a checkered history, but new cars were put into service in 2016 to revitalize the railway and it has succeeded in attracting more tourists as a safer way to travel than a road. Besides first and second class sleeping cars and second and third class seated cars, there are usually two restaurant cars and a first class lounge car. Some couples pay for a fourth berth cabin to secure sole occupancy. The journey usually allows for sightings of elephants, giraffes, zebras and antelopes at its clips and sellers game reserves. And there is a spectacular mountain section with numerous bridges and tunnels. Coaches for Lusaka connect with the train at Capri Mboshi. Number 5. Nairobi to Mombasa, Kenya The new Chinese-built standard gauge railway between Nairobi and Mombasa opened recently reducing the journey time from a putative 16 to 24 hours by the old narrow gauge line to just over 4 and 3 quarter hours by the intercity train, the non-stop version of the Madaraka Express. 
The country train stops at eight intermediate stations. The air-conditioned train has a buffet car with a table seating area for first-class passengers only, a trolley service and complimentary water. Large windows allow good views over the Kapiti Plains and Savo National Park, so passengers would be unlucky not to see again. Number 4. Tangia to Casablanca, Morocco The first high-speed line in Morocco and Africa was opened in mid-2018 between Tangia and Kenitra, which would reduce the journey between Tangia and Casablanca from nearly 5 hours to just over 2 hours with connections onto Marrakech. TGV duplex trains have been adapted for their climate with more powerful air conditioning and filters to prevent sand penetration into the equipment. Those wanting to reach Morocco overland can board ferries to Tangia in Anglekiras or Barcelona. Number 3. Shongololo Express, South Africa Bought by Rovos Rail in 2016, the Shongololo Express is positioned to cater to those more concerned to see Southern Africa than pay for an opulent train experience. Three 12 to 15 day itineraries are often offered, traversing South Africa, Mozambique, Namibia, Swaziland, and Zimbabwe. The 72 guests are accommodated in two categories of ensuite cabins with double or twin beds. Emerald has a small lounge area, Gold does not, and there is a bar car and observation car as well as dining cars. One of the itineraries offers golfing and other options, and all visit games, historic or archaeologic sites. Number 2. Blue Train South Africa South Africa's National Railway Luxury Train is one of the oldest derived from trains introduced in 1923, though frequently replaced or upgraded to become more luxurious. Oscillating between Cape Town and Pretoria, the two train sets each include two lounge cars, dining cars and an observation car, and some of the all suit cabins have the rare facility of wheels of a full-sized bath. Southbound trains break the journey at Kimberley for a visit to the Big Hole and its Diamond Mine Museum, while northbound trains stop at Matches Fountain for Sherry in the Lord Myrna Hotel, founded in 1884 by James Douglas Logan, a Scottish railway man. Number 1. Rovos Rail This luxury train of air-conditioned entire suits rooms with double or twin beds has to be the most comfortable way to see Southern Africa especially in a royal suit which takes up half a carriage. It is eventually the first on our list. The beautifully restored or appointed wood paneled coaches include dining, lounge and observation cars and there is a gift shop on board. Varying 3 to 15 days itineraries venture as far as Dar es Salaam in Tanzania, Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe and Swakopmund in Namibia but the most frequent route is between Cape Town and Pretoria. Most trains begin or end at Rovos Rail's own capital, Park Station, near Pretoria. There you have it, those were the top 10 best train stations in Africa. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, do not forget to like and drop a comment. Also, subscribe and share with your friends.